When everything checks out, you'll be ready to start your engine. If you have a new camshaft, the break-in procedure is critical. If not done properly, you run a high risk of a cam lobe going flat and ruining the internals of your new engine. Follow this break-in procedure and you should be fine. Have someone crank the engine for you, but keep your face out of the way because that might happen if your timing is a bit retarded. If the motor did just sputter, loosen the hold down clamp for the distributor and advance it a little at a time until you get the motor to fire up. If it still won't start, you should go back and check your fuel and electrical supplies. When everything's correct and your advance is set right, the motor should fire right up. Once it does, if you have a new cam, you absolutely have to follow this camshaft break-in procedure. The basic formula is 20 minutes at 2000 RPM. The firm rule here is that the engine has to be running above 1500 RPM. Do not let it idle, even for a few seconds. If you notice a leak or another problem, you can shut off the engine and fix the problem, but once you fire it back up, you have to keep the RPMs above 1500. Every couple minutes, it is helpful to change the RPMs a little bit. You can change them anywhere from 1500 to 2500. These variations are gonna help properly break in the lobes of the cam and to keep enough oil splashing around inside the motor during the braking. After about five or 10 minutes, you should see a little steam coming out of the open radiator and you should carefully top it off with some water now that the air pockets are burped out of the system. Then close off the radiator before it gets too hot to touch. For the rest of the break-in period, you should keep a close watch for leaks or any wires that might have adjusted and could be melting on a hot exhaust pipe or something.